All right, guys, this is the white club card DS. See the Enjoybot batteries. Uh, we did some stuff to this one. All tracks controller, plumb quick motor. We did the, um, the dash gauge, speedometer gauge. Did all that to this one. Now, I took the body off of it a few weeks ago and had the bodies painted. So while the bodies is off and the bodies are now in the back of the truck, they're done. Before we reinstall them, I want to go in here and try to clean some of this wiring up across the back. I'll try to clean some of the wiring up across the body area as well. And definitely, definitely right here in front of the dash. See, when you make the YouTube videos and you're, you're wiring everything up, it looks great. You can't really see anything, but now that I can see everything, I'm going to just go in here and button it all up, make it look a little bit better before we install the bodies. But I got some parts and pieces that we need to install on this golf cart from golfcartstuff.com. I got a full diamond plate kit that we need to do and some seat covers front and rear that we need to do as well. But I'm not gonna bore you with showing you what I'm doing with the wires and showing you each step of the process. I'm gonna just do it here in just a minute. So after this clip right here is over with, the next clip, all the wires will be tightened up as much as I'm gonna tighten them up. Well guys, I have started to clean it up and I got the majority of these wires cleaned up. Uh, some of them was going around this side of the steering shaft and I just want to get them all on one side. I still need to drill a couple of holes and put some wire ties in there to get them, you know, together closer towards the frame. These look better up here. Not perfect is better. The battery compartment looks a lot better as well. I mounted uh, the little converter and the relay on the back wall. Uh, got those wires better, not perfect. You probably see I painted the very bottom of it, painted the white pieces black as well. Put some things in wire loom. Still need to put some wire ties on here, but you know, I just use that custom rattle can paint job in there. Looks a lot better. And once the body is on, it's gonna look a little bit cleaner as well. On the back of the golf cart, I just zip tied some wires up there and I shortened some wires on here as far as the lights go, but that's it. Next step, we need to start getting this body back on. So I got the bodies painted. These things are really pretty. Check that out. Heavy metallic flake and silver. I think it's gonna look great. Went ahead and got the headlights. Headlight bezels painted, I took them all apart. Got these painted as well. Got the tail light bezels painted. I told them not to smooth these down. I don't believe they did. They just primered them, painted them, and cleared them. I went ahead and picked up a dash for it. Had that painted as well. So we're gonna need to get us a, a radio, maybe some speakers to put in it as well. So looks pretty good. I guess it's my fault for not telling them to shave those holes. Gum it. I told them to leave the rub rails on for the seats. Those is what, this is what hits the seats of these golf carts here. Now I'm not going to paint the roof, okay? I'm gonna leave the roof black. I'm gonna leave this part right here silver. But I am gonna take that Rust-Oleum rattle can satin and I'm going to paint all of these pieces down here black on the front and on the back so it'll similar so it will kind of match this black right here okay so we're going to do that as well um these seats here we're going to get rid of these seat covers we're going to get rid of these seats and we're going to put on some uh, single backs on both the front and the back side as well. All right, guys, here's the little DS. Started putting it back together. Went ahead and painted all of this right here. This has got Rust-Oleum satin on it there. I haven't made up my mind here. I'm really thinking about polishing this, but it's not going to be on today's video. The headlights are back in. Put those in last night. Uh, exchanged the black hardware just for some some regular silver uh, screws there, sheet metal screws. Look pretty good. Um, 
painted some of this stuff down here as well. Put some new hinges on there. Inside the battery compartment looks a lot cleaner. And I went in there, I just rattle can the entire uh, battery compartment. Now I took some uh, uh, some of the wires and I put some of the loom on it and uh, just try to clean it up as best I can in here. I also mounted the converter and the relay on the back board. So a lot cleaner. On the back here, we did the same thing with the tail lights. I had them color matched. Those are back in. Um, the plastics here, I did not get them to professionally paint those. I just used that Rust-Oleum satin on there and down here as well because the seat sits down on here, okay? And uh, since the seat's going to sit down there, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, um, they were protected and they were freshly painted, but at the same time, I didn't want to put expensive clear or anything like that on there. But I need to start working on the seats. And I got some seat covers from golfcartstuff.com. The backs, it had those individual seats. Uh, I think I have a regular seat that we're going to put on the front, a single, a single for the back as well, and cover both of the, the seat bottoms as well. I think that's pretty much what we're going to do next here on the channel. So or on this video but, but with that being said i'm gonna get started on recovering those seats and uh, so we can put those on the golf cart next I just flipped it back over and I don't know if you guys can hear that but it's not like your standard cheap vinyl seat cover you normally get from other websites but yeah I do like these a whole lot I mean I like the color too but I like whatever kind of material this is made out of it feels like it's uh, very breathable uh, it could just be your standard marine grade vinyl but it does not seem like that to me. We went ahead and got it on. You can see that's some new plywood there. That's what it looks like. So we're able to uh, rebuild this seat here. It fits, it looks pretty good. So, all right, so here's the deal. Uh, this seat here is for a later model DS. These brackets are not for this model here. This cavity is about an inch and a half. You see these right here mounts are flush. So what I'm thinking of doing, getting my son to help me um, put it onto the back rest. We're going to kind of level it up, maybe try to clamp it in place. Then I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna mark out between the back of these holes here. Should be eight total on the back of the seats. Now, once we do that, I'm gonna pull them off. We're gonna drill through the plastic and maybe into the uh, wood base just a little bit put it back in place and I got two inch long uh, screws that we're gonna put it in this place there to hold this seat back to the cart. Now, I understand I could probably just go and order a different uh, brackets here, but it's an OEM back seat. And this right here is the seat that I found. And that's what we're gonna use on this little cart. 
So I'm just taking a two by four, just like you see, just some clamps. Got a little level on there. The level is uh, saying it's level right now. Next, we're just gonna place the seat up on to this right here portion. Make sure it fits properly before we mark our holes. Then we'll take the seat back off and pre-drill everything. What I'm gonna do is make sure the side of the bracket here is on the uh, side of that uh, notch there. I'm doing this the same way right there. Next, we're just gonna mark these holes. Once we get the holes marked, we'll pre-drill them before we screw them into place. That's what I got, two clamps, piece of two by four, and I got it laying down so the seat will sit on top of it. It's level, I went ahead and marked the holes. I'm only gonna do uh, these two holes on this outside and these two on this outside here. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill those before we sit the seat back on place. All right guys, so check us out here. The gun part is pretty much reassembled here. Got the top windshield, everything's back on. Uh, I had the body painted silver metallic. I thought it would look good against the wheels and tires there, and it does. The seat covers here are from golfcartstuff.com. I got those and a few other accessories for this video. This material is not sure exactly what it is. I want to say it's marine grade vinyl, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like your just standard basic marine grade vinyl seat covers. And if you notice, we did a one piece rear seat on the front here. We did a one piece rear seat on the back. Remember this, we had the four individual seats. Seats look really good there. Also, I had the buckets to the tail lights color matched front and rear and replace those black screws right there with some just some silver screws I did the same thing to the headlights up front have those color matched as well it looks pretty good see it's missing a bumper up there I'm about to show you something here the next thing we need to do is install these uh, parts here from golfcartstuff.com this right here is a five-piece kit front bumper, rear controller cover, side panels, and this is like a rear bumper cover here. Unfortunately, this golf cart doesn't have the rear bumper cover, it's got that OEM back seat, so we're not gonna be able to use that in the place there. We are gonna install some of this other stuff though onto the golf cart. After that, we have something else for the golf cart as well, but it's been raining outside, so it's wet, and it's a little past midnight out here working tinkering the weather feels great out here it's the perfect time to work my shop is a wreck it's okay though we're getting things done and i haven't brought you this golf cart in a little while now so everything is pretty much still stock on it but there it is let's go ahead and get started installing these side pieces here i've never done it before but it comes with hardware pretty sure you're just going to set it up to it and then you just use a self-tapper and drill into the sides. For the back here, uh, we, I know we need to get the OEM screws to put those in there, but I want to say this come with a uh, hardware as well. So yeah.
And we can't forget about one last thing. Check this out. Guys, laser etched me a Fender Entertainment logo for the front of the golf cart. I think this right here looks pretty good. Pretty sure it's just double-sided tape. Hope I don't screw this up. Well, guys, there it is. We have uh, successfully repainted it. We also, not sure if you remember this, but we repainted these right here. We just put Rust-Oleum satin on those. We want to make sure those are all black, the back one as well. I left the top stock. I just didn't want to paint that, risk painting that. It's silver and black now. I think it looks pretty good. Went ahead and got the headlight uh, bezels color matched. Got the Fentertainment logo right there. That is from golfcartstuff.com. They can, you know, custom cut just about anything that you want uh, as far as that goes. Also got the front bumper cover down there as well. That looks good. Move on to the sides here. We get the, the front bumper cover, the sides, and the controller cover. Came in a five-piece kit here. And it came with another piece for the rear bumper, but this doesn't have a rear bumper on it. Uh, those look good. Now, the side pieces come with stainless steel hardware, self-tapping screws to be able to attach it to the golf cart. I opted away from that and I went to the store. I got some quarter 20 black hardware to put in there. I think it looks pretty good. The seats look good as well. Okay, I, I want to tell you it's marine grade vinyl. I, I want to say that, maybe I've said that before in the video, but it really don't feel like your, your standard, you know, vinyl that you usually get for golf cart seats. It, it feels a little bit better, a little bit stronger. It's got like, uh, if you listen to it, Look at the little, see the little notches or whatever, the little, the, the texture that's inside the seats. So the seats look good. Remember, before the video, we had four individual uh, backs on here. So we did a, uh, a newer style back upgrade here. We did the same thing for the rear facing as well. And I just used the old uh, brackets and the hardware to do that with. So may not have lined up exactly 100% perfect, but hey, I did it. Back of the golf cart looks pretty good. I just painted the, uh, the, the aluminum piece down here black. I painted the grab handle here as well. Shot a new uh, coat on that. But man, this little thing is turning out nice. And really, pictures don't do it justice. The video doesn't do it justice right now because we're kind of under a little bit of a uh, of an overcast but the paint has metallics in it. My cousin did a good job painting that as well. The tail light uh, lenses, the, the, the buckets in the back, they've been color matched as well. So all in all, the golf cart is looking much better. So we spent a little bit of time on it, taking our time with it. Remember it was white with them hideous looking wheels on it. We've done a lot to it. We got some more things to do it to it. With that being said, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And until next time, we'll see you later.